Welcome to the TV Spotlight. Our guest today is the founder and CEO of Five Hour Energy, Manoj Bhargava. Manoj, thank you so much for joining us. And you know, it is such an honor to have you here talking about your your experience of founding the company. Walk us through a little bit of how you got started. Well, thanks for having me. Um, it was actually really simple. We uh, looked for technology worldwide, mm -hmm. and I happened to run into this. Uh, this product, this uh, technology somewhere, mm -hmm. and I found it was amazing. So I said, okay, I can build a business around this. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we, the rest really is history. We, within six months, we had products on the shelves. Mm -hmm. And really, the everybody looks for some sort of a secret of mm -hmm. what we did. It's really not that much, uh, it's not that complicated. If you make a really, really good product, 80% mm -hmm. of your work is done. Absolutely. Okay? And if you don't, then you're trying to gimmick everybody into buying okay. nonsense. You know, and that only lasts a very short time. And it really is not usually successful. So uh, what we did was make a really good product that people like, and that's it. It's not that c complicated. You know, from, found, you know fr from the concept of getting a product together to actually getting it to shelves, I mean, there are a whole <laughs> lot of steps there. Yeah. The distribution angle, you know, the marketing, et cetera. How do you go about doing all of these things? And within six months, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty fantastic, actually. Well, actually, we, uh, I had no background in consumer products, and so we didn't know anything. So the first place we went to was a vitamin store and they put the product in. And I didn't even know if people were really going to buy it. Mm -hmm. Because you can have a great product and then nobody says... Yeah, because they don't know about it or right. they, or they just don't want it. it. Yeah. For, for whatever reason, they don't want it. So what we did was put it out there and see what happens in word of mouth. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, month, first week, uh, they sold... Uh, it was a 1,200 store chain and they sold 200 bottles. Oh, first wow. week. It was pretty bad. And in six months, uh, at the end of six months, they were selling 10,000 a week. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, we have a product. Yes. Okay. And at that point, we still didn't know how to get it to all the store shelves. Mm -hmm. uh, so we went back to sort of really ground level, which mm -hmm. is there are people called trunk slammers. Mm -hmm. uh, what they are is they buy from a distributor and they put it in the back of their car yes. and they go store to store peddling this stuff. Yep. Okay. We started there, and then people bought, and yeah. then uh, distributors, and then we went to the drugstores, and they, they said, okay, we'll put it in if you pay us. Mm -hmm. So we first one we paid, and after that, it started selling, which they didn't understand. The product was not in any category. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with the retailers is they want innovative products, but within, every, within a category. So, so category, yes. if it's innovative, it's usually not in a category, and mm -hmm. if it's not in a category, they don't want it. They don't know where to fit it. They yeah. don't know where to put it. So um, we did that, and then uh, the product was really good. Mm -hmm. and <coughs> so, t you know, take us back a little bit before you, you know, your you know, venture into consumer products. What was your background and how you kind of transitioned <laughs> into this? Okay, my background is a little strange, but uh, I'll keep it really short uh, because basically I had a business before that, mm -hmm. and before that I was a monk. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, the, the my training is from a different area. It's not. I don't have an MBA. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not even a graduate. You know, I dropped out after first year, and uh, uh, so that's my background. And uh, so the, the advantage it gave me is that I work on common sense. Yeah. Whereas everybody else works from their education, mm -hmm. which because everybody else has an education, mm -hmm. I'm the different guy. Yes. Yeah. So do you think? Uh, you know, the, the school of hard knocks or just life experience is education enough, though? Well, really, in business, all you need is a couple of things. You need common sense and a sense of urgency. If you have those two things, you really have more than all the education that's really out there. Because to some extent, uh, you get a fancy degree in business. Um, as I was telling somebody else, if, if you want to learn plumbing, you go to a plumber. Right. You know, somebody who's actually seen a pipe, right. fixed a leak, yep. not somebody who's actually just written about pipes right. uh, and researched pipes, right? So, the, unfortunately, the education is not that productive mm -hmm. because they're learning from people who are great theory guys, but they've actually never fixed a pipe. Right. So, in some regards, they're really full of jargon and, and fancy words, mm -hmm. but when it gets down to it, they don't really get it.